Hello everybody. So today we are gonna do something special. We're gonna play Medieval Total War. This game came out in 2002, so this year it's its 16th birthday. With that said, I I, I cannot pick the words to say how good this game is. When it came out, I was like 12 years old and I bought it from my allowance money and I loved every moment of it. I beat it through the years several times with each and every fraction and every time you play a new fraction it's a new experience. But today we're gonna do something different. We're gonna start a new campaign and we are gonna play on the hardest possible difficulty. I haven't beat it beat it this game in the hardest possible difficulty so I don't know what is expected and what will happen but yeah let's hit it off I also do have the Vikings expansion but I'm not gonna play it because I want a real challenge Vikings are a bit easier in, in my opinion because you have less provinces to cover and to take over so this is our map everything that's covered are fractions so if you take one province and battle on one province for example this one you're gonna have to battle each and every province from this purple colors we uh, purple color which are Brazilians. so that's the the main goal when you start the game don't fight against provinces or don't fight against fractions because when you fight one fraction the fraction will fight back but if you fight in areas which are non-colored those are neutral areas and those are the provinces that are standalone there is no backlash if you take over and it and it's much easier as you see we have quite a lot neutral provinces and you want to take those as fast as you can and keep them because that will help you with the gold that will help you with the map control you need those ships and you need the provinces to land those ships so I'm gonna pick the early period because we are gonna get to the high period and the late period eventually I'm not gonna rush this playthrough I'm gonna take it slow and easy and maximize it as much as I can so I as I said I I have beaten the game a few times and I did it with every fraction but I'm gonna pick for this walkthrough the Danes because they are in a good position but they are not overpowered for example Egyptians, English, Germans, Turkish. They are overpowering when you start. Just look at the amount of provinces they have. Germans do. And the fact that they have a lot of provinces and a lot of military power at the start is just the beginning. The Pope is with them if you fight against. Germans the Pope will just step in and say no you have to stop if you continue the Pope will excommunicate excommun you from the church and every Catholic fraction will be against you and they have a lot of allies and when you fight an allied fraction if you are for example if you are allies with the Germans and you attack them there is a quite big chance that everybody in that alliance will turn against you or there is a chance they will turn against Germans and help you out but that's just a toss of a coin and it's not safe to do it but we will do that because everything needs to fall and so yeah I'm gonna pick the Danes a good position good starting troops they have the Vikings which are for this age 
a, a good type of troops. They do a lot of damage, they are fast, and they destroy anything in the next 100 years on the field. And they have a position that they, ca they can conquer from the start. This is a neutral area, the Sweden and the other Scandinavian countries, and you have an open sea, so you can establish both uh, sea control with the boats from the start and keep conquering those neutral provinces. So yeah, let's start it.